Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch, and those of you that are interested in using Zoom directly for Moodle, that's a great idea. I've been doing it for a number of years. First of all, you need to install the uh, plugin. You download it over here on Moodle.org. After you download it, you need to add the following information. So let me show you what I have on my Moodle, one of my Moodle sites. So there it is. All you need to have is a Zoom API and a Zoom secret. And then you add zoom.us. That's it. That's all you need to have. Now, some of you are having problems getting your Zoom key. So let me show you how you can get your Zoom key. But first of all, you need to be a premium owner of a Zoom account. All right, so let's go into Zoom and let me show you how that works. On Zoom, you need to have at least the Pro. And if you wanna have uh, more than one user of the Zoom class, you need to pay. And that starts with the Enterprise over here or the Education account. So let's go into my Zoom under settings which is on the left so let's go into my account on the left settings that's where you go all right so here are the settings click on them then scroll all the way down until you get to this it's called integration notice there it is and under integration you will have the key and the secret that's it. Okay, you need to get that and then you go back into your account and you add the Zoom API and the secret. Notice you can regenerate it. In other words, now that I'm showing it to you, I will regenerate it. Okay, so you can do that so nobody else uses it. So let's go back into this Moodle site. I'm going to go into one of my courses to show you how things are done. All right, so let's go into Moodle training, training for teachers. I'm going to turn editing on. Notice there is a Zoom already there. All right, so um, let me go into add an activity or resource. The Zoom is an activity. I'm going to click on it. There it is, Zoom meeting. Again, all you need is the key and the secret. I'm going to write down test. You don't need a description. I'm going to do it for, well, you can do it for an hour or more, or you can do it per seconds, per minutes. All right, so let me do uh, 10 minutes. Not that it makes a difference. You can always extend. Um, and of course, I don't have the right to a webinar. I could have add a password if you like. Videos off, off, enable join before host. I don't like to do that. Alternative hosts again is only if you have the enterprise or the education account. You need to have more than one person on your account, and they have to be on one account, and not everybody wants to do that. So this is something you might want to consider. So I'm going to save it. It's very, very useful to have your Zoom classes directly there because it's right now. Okay, I can start the meeting. The students will also see this when the time comes. You can also share the link over here. Okay, share this. Notice it has a J. If it has a J, it means it's a share link. It's not yours. Now I want to show you something. If I go back to my settings, you will see, did I save that? Yes. You will see the class here. All right. So let's go into our Zoom meetings. Okay. My account and my meetings on the left. And you will see this. Okay. Upcoming meetings. Okay. So there it is. Notice I didn't add a code, a password. And that's why you see that it denotes no password and it kind of um, bothers me to have it on my Zoom account, but that's what it means. All right, so that's how it works. 
Let's go back to the test, start the meeting like you would on Zoom. It looks exactly the same. Okay, allow and everything is the same. Okay, keep that in mind. It'll be the same for you. Be the same for you and the same for your students. Let me stop the recording. Okay, so it's got everything that you need on a Zoom. And that's it. Hope this has been of help. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Subscribe and hit that button so you can get the latest videos. Thank you.